here's the tail light. Properly installed, I've actually shaved the bottom of this GB panel a little bit more than what we did at the uh, body shop because I took it back and it didn't fit right. So, anyways, we're here to talk about the lights. Here it is. Now the final product will be aluminum, uh, 6061 billet and uh, you know, not like this, because this is right now is uh, plastic. This is 3D printed. And the final design's a little bit more refined. It looks exactly the same. The only difference is the pattern inside will be slightly different because this is kind of difficult to machine and some of these angles are impossible for milling. And uh, I've rounded this out just a little bit. These little, these little grooves right here, I've changed just a tad custom LED ring inside and out. These are your reverse and signal. Out here is your brake light and parking light. All right, so this is the parking light mode and the red is actually maybe about 75% power, 60% power. When you step on the brakes, it gets brighter. So it's uh, pretty cool because, you know, this is already ridiculously bright and to think that it could actually get brighter is just crazy. So the taillight bucket and the LEDs are made here in the USA. The garage vary panel is made in Japan. I bought it from Corns Japan. It won't come with the LED light kit, but I can um, refer you to Corns Japan to order the legit GV panel. I can't guarantee that this bucket, when I say bucket, it's the light assembly with the LED, and it's, the, the proper name is the Hydron LED light panel. I can't guarantee that this will fit fake uh, GV panels because I designed this specifically for the legit GV panel. Now, I think the fake and the replicas are pretty much similar as far as sizes as the uh, GV panel. So you may wanna double check that. I'll add the dimensions for the light to make sure that it fits. Surprisingly, the amber is way brighter than the red. And I mean bright, it's ridiculously bright. What you see here is probably half its brightness in person. And uh, it's pretty cool because that amber turns into white for reverse, we'll do that later. But let's get a couple of close-ups here. It's crazy how cool it looks when it turns on. Kind of reminds me of Iron Man's uh, little core. I guess if you shoot it in this angle, you could kind of see the, the fine details there. All right, here's the reverse. It's ridiculously bright. Even brighter than the uh, ambers. Look at that, it's just gonna blow everything out. Ridiculous. It looks totally badass. Look at that. And mind you, we still have some daylight bleeding into the garage right now. And it's just crazy bright. Crazy bright. The only problem is if you have the reverse engaged, you can't have the signals on. So if you're uh, planning to reverse into a parking spot while signaling, probably not gonna work. All right, so you can kind of see how bright it is by the reflection of the garage door. There's still light bleeding in from the garage door windows and uh, it's crazy bright. I'm gonna have this ready in the next month or two. I'll be taking pre-orders and uh, hopefully I can get these made at a decent cost. It's gonna be 6061 aluminum instead of this ABS uh, 3D printed unit that I have. This is just a prototype, so that's why it's ABS. I wanted to make sure that it fits and it looks good. Um, the final product, like I said, it's gonna have some minor changes, but essentially the same thing. Making it out of plastic, obviously, is gonna be way cheaper than making it out of 6061 aluminum, but the goal is to look badass and be different. I don't want cheap. You know, if I wanted cheap, I would've just stuck on a trailer light on here and called it a day. Stay tuned, I'll have more updates about the lights on my Instagram. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, make sure you turn on your notifications so you can see the latest videos that I post.